It's time to sparkle with crystals. I'm here for that shimmer. There are 20 crystals in the base game collection, plus an additional two added from the Get to Work expansion pack, and another two from the Jungle Adventure game pack for 24 total. And we're going to look at collecting them all. Now at the basic level, collecting crystals is easy, but time consuming. And if you only have the base game, it can be a tricky collection to complete. Here, you essentially want to scout around the neighborhood looking for rocks lying around. Ideally, those with giant gems sticking out of them and dig them up. This has a decent chance to grant your crystal. However, you might also be given other collectibles such as mycem trophies or treasure maps. You'll want to keep digging up these rocks until you find them all. Constantly try different worlds and locations as you use up the spawns and then return back after a few days once the rock spawns have reappeared. Now if you have the Get to Work expansion pack, then the collection becomes significantly easier to complete as the pack will add in a range of ways to help you collect more crystals. Firstly, if you enter into the playable scientist career, then the active careers work lot will have a massive amount of rock spawns tightly packed together meaning you can locate and find crystals pretty quickly. You'll also be able to chat to other co-workers and ask them for a crystal, whereby they'll give you one at random. And in addition, at level 5 of the career, you can invent the cloning machine. This can help you make copies of any crystals you have already very easily. You can also analyse crystals you find on the chemical analyzer added from the pack. This will see you have a good chance to be given another random crystal without consuming the one you analyze. However, crystals can only be analyzed once each, and any crystals you gain from analyzing another crystal cannot be analyzed themselves. Get to Work also adds in alien sims, and these sims will have a power whereby they can transmute and turn an element, metal or crystal into another object from the collections. So a metal could turn into a crystal, or a crystal could turn into an element, this just means that if you have an alien sim and an excess of metals, you can transmute them until you get a crystal. Hopefully, one you don't already have. Get to work also adds in the hidden alien homeworld of 6am. The easiest way to get here is by leveling to 10 rocket science and upgrading the rocket ship with the wormhole generator. And then, use the ship to travel to the world. Here, you will find green and red crystal spawns, and you can collect from them to gain a range of different crystals. You can also find the Get to Work exclusive crystals of Crandestine and Nitrolite here. Now the Jungle Adventure game pack adds in a further two crystals being Amazonite and Alexandrite. You can find these by using a machete to cut through the Selvageradan jungle and completing story based cutscenes. Or you can find them through digging out rocks with crystals poking out of them in the area. I will note that these can be a little bit tricky to find. If you have the Realm of Magic game pack, then you can buy a range of crystals at the Potion Ingredients shop in Caster's Alley. You can buy multiples here and the shop will refresh stock every day. However, the shop won't stock every type of crystal. Finally, if you're very close to finishing the collection and you have one or two crystals missing that you know another sim has found, then you can have the second sim that's found the crystals give them to your sim trying to complete the collection as a gift and help them finish off the collection that way. Note that you will need the Sims 4 Seasons expansion pack for this. Alas, that's how to complete the crystal collection in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.